Well, I don't think there's any denying that Mark Latham has had a massive political impact or impact on the political scene in New South Wales. Of course, many argue he'd be a powerful figure on the national front. But with the Liberal Party in disarray and uncertainty about Labor, so many people are saying to me, this is fact, they'll be voting one nation, at least in the upper house, to put the brakes on stupidity. You would know that Mark and I have constantly raised questions about two major issues, energy policy and educational failure. So Mark joins me and will be on this program often until we can sink this stuff into the thick heads of some people in Macquarie Street. Mark, thank you for your time. How can Dominic Perrottet seriously say, vote for us? I'll have something to say about the Liberal Party later in the program, but a budget last year which boasted expenditure growth of 26.5%, and they're still spending, while the Reserve Bank is jacking up interest rates to contain consumer demand. The biggest culprits are government. Yeah, good point, Alan. Yeah, yeah very good point that uh, these massive budget deficits and debt federal and state are helping to drive inflation and, and drive higher interest rates. So it's urgent work to try and bring the New South Wales budget back into balance. And One Nation, we're the only party that's put forward a cost-saving plan. Uh, we've got $182 billion of gross debt. Uh, it's a big job to balance the budget and to pay down that debt. And the starting point, of course, uh, you save tens of billions of dollars over the forward estimates if you end all the Matt Keen green energy programs, which are a waste of money. You end uh, the madness of all the spending on electric vehicles, which are essentially for people who can afford a $70,000 car. And most importantly, you end these enormous uh, government costs and, and, and costs passed on to consumers for rewiring the entire electricity grid. You see, we're the only country in the world that has a thing called rewiring the nation, which means you used to have a, a, a very good electricity system with coal-fired power and the grid wired up down the coast where most of the people live. Now they've built these uh, solar farms and wind farms in the western reaches of New South Wales, and it's hugely expensive to connect them up with transmission-wise. And we've got the news today that um, a Snowy 2.0 is running behind um, uh, schedule, uh, along with the Curry gas peaking plant. And even if Snowy 2.0 came online and was effective, there's a big controversy about linking it into the grid through the Hume link. So you should stop the so-called transition to a clean energy economy. You save a huge amount of money and it's the biggest contributor we can have in New South Wales, not only to keeping the lights on, not only to bringing down electricity prices, but also to balancing the budget. Outstanding. Outstanding. You're in the upper house. There's this parliamentary inquiry into alleged branch stacking in the Liberal Party and the inquiry can't find the Premier's brothers. I mean, is it credible to believe they've gone missing? What's, what's your view on this? Well, it's a very political inquiry um, and it's tit for tat because there was an inquiry into Cal Asfor, the discredited mayor of uh, Bankstown, who had to drop off the Labor Party ticket. The Labor Party retaliated with an inquiry into old allegations by Ray Williams about uh, uh, the Hills District. You know, the Hills District as the Balkans of the New South Wales Liberal Party. Mm. You know, you need an encyclopedia to work out the various factional and sub-factional <laughs> fights. But as for the Perrottet brothers, who I've never met, uh, it's true that if you leave the New South Wales jurisdiction, so, you know, you park yourself in Wodonga or in Coolangatta, um, <laughs> you can't be subpoenaed. So maybe that's where they are. You know, it's not the most uh, exotic hiding spot, Wodonga, <laughs> but maybe that's where they are under their uh, bedsheet. 